This is my face seven days after my DPNs were removed. And this is my neck, it still has scabs on it. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove the rest of the scabs. I use an apricot scrub to gently remove the scabs. And then I'll take some eucerin and put it all over my scabs and it makes it softer. First I'll dab my face with some water. So when I put the scrub on, it would be much easier to maneuver. Then I take it and bring it all the way down on my neck. I make sure I have my face nicely coated. After that, I hop in the shower. The shower will soften the scabs even more. Hey guys, so I am out the tub and I already put my moisturizer on my face, which is my eucerin. So, I already put that on there because my skin is dry and I didn't want it to dry out before I did this recording part of the video. But I'm gonna show you how I seal my face with oil. <laughs> now I know everybody knows about moisturizing and sealing their hair, but do you know you can also moisturize and seal your face, your body, your feet or whatever? Because in the winter time, my skin is super dry and sometimes the thickest moisturizer, it doesn't keep my face moisturized. So I'll put a oil over it and I usually use Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. This is Mary Kay Extra Emollient Night Cream. I ran out of it. It's kind of pink like that. And I just put that over my face too. When you put your oils and moisturizers on, you always want to go upward because you don't want to help your face drag down. Your face is naturally going to come downward. It's going to sink in because you're getting older, you lose volume in your cheeks, and you don't want to help it do that. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to show you how my neck looks since I've been, well, since I exfoliated it. And I'm going to show you how my face looks too. So most of the scabs are gone off my face. But some are still left on my neck. So let's get a close-up shot of my face. This is how it looks after seven days. You remember I had all those scabs on my cheeks? So on my forehead. So you could probably see, let's get a little bit closer. A little bit of the lightness from the scabs. So when I did the exfoliating, it gently took the scabs off without leaving a scar. My doctor said I have adult acne, and that's what that is. And this is how it looks on this side. Okay, so here is my neck and it still has scabs on it. Now, when I started um, moisturizing and exfoliating my face, I didn't, I didn't do my neck. I don't know, for some reason, I always do my face first and then I work down to my neck. No particular reason. That's just how I do it. So you still see the scabs, a few of them on my neck. So I'm going to put some moisturizer on my neck so it can start softening up the scabs. So when I exfoliate my neck the next time, some of these scabs may be either already gone because they have gotten soft and they just fell off on their own, or when I do the exfoliating, it'll come off way easier. So I may do this. I just do it when I feel like it or I feel like it's necessary. There is no certain rhythm or schedule I go on. I just do it whenever I feel like it's, whenever I just feel like it. Eventually they'll come off. And they look like little black pepper flakes on your towels and all over your clothes and stuff. So this eucerin is really good. You don't have to use eucerin. You can use any type of thick, heavy cream. And no, I do not seal my neck. <laughs> I just seal my face. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope I got everything. I didn't put on any other makeup because I am staying home for the rest of the evening and there's no sense for me to put eye 
brow pencil on and eyeliner I'm not going anywhere but I do need to arch these eyebrows okay guys so that is it thank you for listening to me and hopefully these tips will help you if you decide to get your DPNs removed and yeah guys I will see you in the next video bye bye